Ever since my big, huge art hit, things have been pretty sweet. Considering the amount of work that I see, you have $300,000. $300,000? This definitely doesn't haul junk. I know it hauls ass. It hauls ass. I've sold the Pinto and I bought a Mercedes. <laughs> Here's an easy 320 bucks right here. Not even in the first foot of the locker. Holy mackerel! There's easily 20 in there. That is a huge MIG welder. I can definitely get a quick $1,500 for this puppy. Nice little Lincoln arc welder. Oh, yeah. I, I think this is another $600 bill. Six tanks and all those gauges and everything. That's another $1,000 bill. Is that a snap-on wire feeder? Well, I'll guarantee I get 1500 bucks for that one right there. It's an Airco. Oh, yeah, this is a it's big a good one, one, too. I'll probably get $4,000 for this thing used. It looks like you have hundreds upon hundreds of figures here. I mean, you're talking about figures that average $50 a piece. We got comic books, these Supermans, $5 to $10 a piece. That's factory sealed, right? Yeah, absolutely, it's factory sealed. Here, we got a lot of Marvel stuff, too. This, obviously, is huge now. All these statues average from 30 to 100 bucks. Even little things like this, you look at it and you think right away, okay, that's Bigfoot, it says $6.99 on it. This is a $50 toy. Wow. This is what he paid on it then. <laughs> you see, and over here, oh, here is the beauty. This is probably one of the best Batmobiles made. Are you kidding me, dude? This stuff is that good? It is. You're looking at about $100 in its state right now. For one car. And we're going from action figures, the comic books, the Hot Wheels. This guy was a true collector. Retail, you're looking about $40,000. That is huge.